would like to present to you our medieval knights, Dex and Tim. I'm going to let them take over the program for a little bit. Big round of applause, guys. Hopefully we're going to have a great time this weekend. You guys looking forward to having a good time? Yeah! You want to, you want to give us a sword and fight a little bit? Yeah! All right. Yeah! We're talking about roughly about the year 1100. So that's about 900 years ago. 900 years ago, what didn't we have? We didn't have refrigerators. <laughs> We didn't have TVs. We didn't have fresh underwear. We didn't have fresh underwear. What did we have? What did we have? What? Machine guns. Yeah, machine guns. We didn't have machine guns. What didn't we have? Microwaves. We didn't have microwaves. Oh God, that's bad. Are you ready for this one? We didn't have. Flush toilets. <laughs> we didn't have toilet paper. I want to tell you just a little tiny bit about this. Now, are you guys rich? Yeah. <laughs> you used to be rich, but now with this economy, we're not so rich anymore. We we have lost a lot of money. But here's what happened. You have a lot of people that are coming and attacking you. That's not very nice of them, is it? That's not like me. And so, what am I going to do? I'm going to go and I'm going to say, I don't know, I can't defend myself, so I'm going to go over to him. Because he is a small, what we call a petty noble. Not that he's petty. Right? He is a, he's a, a noble, but he doesn't have a huge area. And he says, okay, I have a small castle over here. I'll protect you. Cool. We like that? Yeah. We like that. And so he says, okay, but if you're going to get protection from me, you've got to give back something to me. So what do you think he wants? Money. money. Oh, he has, he has plenty of money. What? Food. 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 Good job. He wants you to make all the food for him. Now, a knight is a great guy. Yes. You know what his job is? His job, well, actually, sometimes. His job is to do absolutely nothing. I want that job. How many of you like that kind of job? <laughs> a knight doesn't do anything. In fact, what does he do? He goes around and he beats up people. He goes around and he goes ahead and he fights this guy in front, and they go out and they play. Now, do we want to kill each other? Yes! No! Yes. No! We go out and he and I might have a good fight and we'll get done afterwards and I'll say, boy, that was awful good, wasn't it? You're good. Yeah, it was. It was very good. And so we do that. In fact, I think roughly around the year 946, <coughs> The church had to finally step in and say, okay guys, we're going to have what they call the peace and truce of God. You know what that is? That means you cannot kill people on Wednesdays and Thursdays. But outside of that, you're okay. So the church said that, you know, that's it. You know, you couldn't do things, you know, like that. And so they tried to rein in these guys because these guys were just running, rummaging through the fields and everything, having a great time. Now, so I, as a, as a knight, protect you guys, you give me your food, and you live in, you know, you live, don't live in the castle, but you live under the protection of the castle. Now, my noble here, he is subject to, <laughs> King, what do you think he does? So what does he do? He says, okay, Mr. Noble, I'll give you some land, and you supply me when I want to go to war. You supply me with so many knights. 
And that's the web of a medieval time firm. So, now, you guys, besides getting food, you have to do what? Fight! You have to fight. So that if somebody is coming, we have to defend ourselves. He's going to put out the call. So many of us who are knights, we are in armor, we're the richer people, and we will fight for him. But then he's also going to call up you guys, the peasants. Do you guys want to be peasants or knights? We are knights. Right. Okay, all right, we're going to have to train you. I want to tell you about one. This is called, anybody know? Chain mail. Chain mail. This is called chain mail. Believe it or not, I was stupid enough to make this one myself. <laughs> so this was, it took about 600 hours to make. So it wasn't much fun. As, as you can imagine, this is a very expensive thing to have. And so when I died, do you think I got buried in this coat? No. My son said, let dad go, but I want his armor. And he took my took the armor and he then would wear it. And it got passed down for generation to generation. Now later, about the year 5, uh, 1500, they started wearing a lot of uh, very strong armor, plate armor. And you'll see a pair of gloves over there that are like that. They can move, but they're all pieces of plate, much faster to make. And so that's what happened. Now, so the beginning of the medieval period, we can call the late medieval period, somewhere around, you know, we can start to say around the time of the First Crusade. First Crusade happened in 1096. In 1096, the Pope, Pope Urban II, made a call for a holy war against the Muslims. And so they marched off and, and fought in, uh, over by Jerusalem. And this is the costume that they would have worn. You know, a solid helmet, large shield with a cross. You see crosses all over my, my head here. This is an original cross. This cross is a thousand years old that I wear around my neck. Um, they didn't have, you know, that real strong armor. Now, as time went by, you started getting into more of that, uh, more of that articulated armor, more of the plate armor, and it finally ended, and I, I personally think it could say could, uh, that it ended at, in 1453, when Constantinople fell to Mohammed the Great, and how did he defeat him? He blew a hole in the wall with cannons. Well, do you think this stuff is good for swords? No. Yeah. You don't think this could stop a sword? Yeah. Yeah. Come on up. Yeah. Oh, you're going to get hit by a little kid. <laughs> All right, now. Here's what I want you to do. You might want to step back. <laughs> I appreciate that. Don't, don't, don't hit me right here. Don't be back. Well, you can hit me right here. Just, just swing it out and swing it out. Hit it hard. Don't hit me light. Come on. Uh, oh, okay, that was pretty good. Thank you very much. No, that didn't bother me at all. This is very good against that. Now, do you think it would be very good against the point? No. And it, those rings are going to start separating a little. That's why uh, you know it wasn't really great against that. But as, uh, as as it went on, suddenly you had cannons and bullets from guns. Do, do you think I could stand up to that as a knight? No. no. So that's what stops the medieval time. Okay. So much for our history lesson now, guys. Because I think it's important that you know that. We're going to have one more talk on history, and during dinner time, I'm going to tell you about the attributes of a knight. What, what makes a good knight? Are you guys going to be good knights or bad knights? Yeah. <laughs>